Flitz here, and I would like to know how would you like to play video games for a living? Well, the folks over at Sony decided to listen to their fan base and brought their hit show The Tester back for a second season. I managed to have a sit down chat with the beautiful and talented Meredith Molinari about the hit show and her adventure in video gaming. The Tester. So, Maldith, that is how you say your name in French. Absolutely. <laughs> how did you how did you get into the tester? You know, before season one, um, there's a, a little website out here called LA Casting where they post all different types of, you know, breakdown services for different jobs, and it was looking for someone who had hosting experience and who loved video games. Check. So <laughs> I applied, and after going through a pretty rigorous, you know, audition process, a series of callbacks. I got the job and then a few days later we started uh, shooting season one and that was last year um, and so I was very thankful they called me to come back for season two because it's so awesome. And you were duper excited. I, I love watching these people make this journey. You know, they come in with these like big hopes and, and ideas of what the show is going to be like. And then no matter what, even if they saw season one, they're always totally blown away by how different it is actually being on the show. So season two starts November 2nd. Yes. Season two is a lot bigger and badder than season one. I, you know, we, we definitely listened to our viewers about what they loved about season one. And I think we took what they loved and brought it to the next level. They wanted longer episodes, we gave it to them. So awesome. the episodes are longer. There's also a lot more, you know, behind the scenes in the loft of what goes on with the testers when they're not doing their challenges and when they're not in eliminations. Uh, there's a lot of drama this season. So you get to see so, like, who people really are. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely. That's why I think like, you know, if you like the drama reality TV, you're gonna love it because it's that plus games and it's just so much fun. Well, the drama, the drama is what a lot of people watch for. So yeah. there's more drama in season two. To yeah, there def definitely is. Well, the, you know, they're living in the loft this year. Nice. They're all living together and we have some really, really big personalities. And uh, I don't know, I've learned that a lot of gamers uh, think very highly of themselves. Oh well, yeah. Hey. Oh, boy. Why? Why? I'm the alpha male, I'm the alpha dog. People look up to me, people want to be like me, people want to follow me. And so when you get a lot of people that think that have themselves with big personalities in the same room, you know there's going to be people butting well, you, heads. I mean, it's a competitive zone. So exactly. You to, you and know. you're on a reality show. You're competing yeah. to win, you know, plus you're competing in gaming, you know. So all around, I think these kids are really competitive people to begin with. And then you put them in a competition reality show. So... In season one, your main role was? I am the host. I, I'm not the judge. I don't send anybody <laughs> home. I do ask them to turn in their badge and exit, but um, I don't actually have anything to do necessarily with the deciding of who goes home. I'm kind of the intermediary between the judges and the contestants. And what I love so much about this season is I did get to spend more time learning about who the contestants are because, you know, becoming a tester, it's a great way to get your foot in the door. And if you talk to these gamers, you know, of course, they're super excited about testing games and, and some of them are really excited about breaking the games. Um, but they all want to do something else. You know, they want to use this as a springboard. And so it was really cool to, like, sit down with them and find out, okay, who wants to go into character development? Who wants to go into marketing? And so I think this season, we did learn a lot more about them on a personal level as well as just uh, what their gaming experiences are. That's awesome. Do you play any any extra roles in season two? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm everything from their cheerleader uh, to uh, their friend. Uh, not so much their confidant. They, they try and keep, you know, you a little separate because they, they want, you know, these people to live just them. It's them in this world and, you know, they can't call their parents and, you know, talk yeah. on their cell phone and get, you know, so it really is, is about keeping them separate from the judges and the panelists. And we don't even get to watch the behind the scenes. So I'm always like really excited <laughs> so when the episodes come out because I want to know what goes on when I leave the, the loft and I close that door. They don't want us knowing necessarily the, the behind the and scenes story. And they be like, well, in season two, bleh, and it's like, oh, well, that secret's out. Thanks so Right, or, or, you know, maybe something that goes on in the loft might hinder what the judges are, are thinking uh, about their, how they, you know, do the, in the competition. They really want them to be graded on how their performances go, not necessarily who says what about who, although that is really fun to listen to. <laughs> <laughs> and you, before you got this gig, before you got this job, were you a gamer? Yeah, you know, I've, I've always loved video games. Uh, I'm for, my mom is hysterical because we weren't allowed to have a gaming console when I was growing up. Oh, I know. Shame on you, mom. No, I'm just kidding. Um, uh, we, she thought we spent too much time in front of the TV, so we weren't allowed to have it. But for me, it was a total treat because I got to go to my friend's house, and I really hope I'm not dating myself and play Sega, um, and also play <laughs> PlayStation and Nintendo and all sorts of games. So it was a total treat for me to go out and play games. And then, you know, as I got older, you know, I'm a girl. I'm always going to have boyfriends that play games. And so your choices are watch your boyfriend play the game <laughs> or learn <laughs> And, and play along, sense. you know? So, yeah. you know, and I think I think that was that was my role with it. I, I love 
I have such a soft spot in my heart for arcade fighting games. I mean, I could literally play Tekken for hours. I go to Dave & Buster's and I get their hour power card and I will literally sit there and play Tekken over and over and it over again. It's like the only escape now to go out and play video games in public. It is true. And, and not feel like silly like, because you can't, you, there are arcades out here in LA, but you know, I've got like a 12 year old like next to me kicking my butt in Alien vs Predator and that's just like, you know, no one wants to feel that way. But you go to Dave and Buster's with your friends, you know, it's a good time. And that Alien vs Predator, they actually the giant guns that have the um, flamethrowers and the grenade launchers. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I'm totally addicted. Did you learn like a good bit about the industry since you started? This Absolutely. Job? We have so many panelists that are from all these different facets of the industry. And you know, we've got this season, we have Ted Price, we've got Greg Goodrich, Deborah Mars, uh, Stig Osmussen. We have so many people that are, work in all these different fields that you can't help but just be a sponge and just soak up all the information of, of those people around you. Uh, and it's really interesting, you know, a Brent comes from a very different, Brent Goki, who's on our, our panel again this year, mm -hmm. he comes from a very different side than say Greg Goodrich does, you know, from like uh, d either being producing and creative and release manager. So you do get to learn a little bit about the industry that I would never have known just being, uh, you know, a, a gamer. And so will we get, I mean, even with the panelists, there are people too, will we get, you know, to see maybe a uh, American Idol panelist for us <laughs> I think what's so great about the panelists is they definitely got a group of people together that are not shy about awesome. sharing their feelings. <laughs> they will give you your very honest opinion about whether you did awesome or whether you got owned. I mean, they, they are they are very honest. Um, our celebrity uh, judge this year, Adrienne Curry, not only is she gorgeous and a serious gamer, she's hysterical. You, you have to watch each week to see the stuff that comes out of this girl's mouth because it just, it blows you away. She is very honest and um, she doesn't hold back. And so I think she, if anyone was going to be the Simon, I think she could definitely, <laughs> she could Simon. definitely fill that in. But she's also really sweet, you know, I think because, you know, she's got that, you know, she's got that feminine side to her. And so she is, you know, caring and understanding of what they're going through because she was on a reality TV too. That makes a lot of You know, of sense. she was a contestant. She was in their shoes, you know, years ago. And so she knows how hard it is to be a contestant in a reality show and, uh, and be competing for something you really, really want. So I think she she plays both sides really well. And I mean, I'm sure Simon has a sweet feminine side. I'm sure he does. I'd like to see it. <laughs> it's probably hiding in his uh, V-neck somewhere. <laughs> cool. And there there's there are benefits to watching. Yes. Uh, this is this is really exciting. So this season um, we're doing something new. It's called Download and Win. It's our big contest this season. So every week we have we put the contestants in some in some pretty interesting challenges, and they have to work really really hard. And when they win, they get really cool prizes. Sweet. Well, we're going to give our viewers a chance to win the same prizes that the contestants win. So let's say for example, the first week um, we're giving away God of War Three Ultimate Edition signed by Mr. Stig Osmussen. Sweet. Yes. So you get to watch this free show, which is seriously cool, and then get some free cool prizes just for downloading. So anytime you go, log into the PlayStation Network, you go to the PlayStation Store, gaming side, hit media, click tester, download, you watch the show, you're entered to win. We're, we already told everyone all the prizes we're giving away all season. You can go to thetester.com slash download and win. <laughs> I think there's hyphens between download and win. <laughs> but yeah, we're giving away Sony cameras, noise canceling headphones, and the finale, we're actually giving away a Sony Bravia 3D television. <laughs> yeah, yeah, 3D television. I'm really kind of upset that I work for the show and I don't get to enter and win. <laughs> I think you get an employee discount. Right. Check, check <laughs> I'll, I'll look, look into that. Look, look into that one and then hook it up. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, awesome chit chatting. Thanks. Thanks for having Pleasure me. Pleasure to seeing you. Absolutely. I know. I feel like I've seen you somewhere before. I don't know. Where could that have been? <laughs> well, we'll just have to see each other again. Sometime. Absolutely. Awesome. Take care. You too.